Yeah, so good afternoon, everyone. Uh, yeah, my talk is uh, supposed to be a lightning talk, but now I have a whole lot of 30 minutes before the break, but I'll keep it short, so don't worry. Uh, well, so, um, yeah, uh, today my topic is uh, about understanding the identity of uh, a CI platform. So, uh, my name is Richard Fan. And so, uh, something about me I'm a security engineer uh, working in a VPN company. Uh, I, but besides the work, I'm also an AWS security hero, but I'm not working for AWS. Uh, I'm also an amateur hacker, but not very professional. And this talk is about uh, one of my very late to uh, security research. Uh, I do it recently. And uh, I love hiking. And also, I have a cat. And because uh, I think this morning uh, someone posted the, the skiing photo, so I decided to add this photo into my slide. Uh, I took last Sunday. Uh, jealous? Oh. <laughs> no, just kidding. So, uh, so uh, before I dive in into the CI platform, uh, let's do a refresher of uh, Fusio. Uh, I think a lot of you um, know that, um, but I, I just do a recap. Uh, Fusio um, is a, a CA of uh, our six door uh, ecosystem. Um, to uh, produce a certificate for killer signing. And here we, um, we, we, we can see that uh, in the documentation, uh, it, it also said that uh, unfortunately, there's a no one size fit all answer for uh, picking the, uh, the subject alternative name. And in terms of uh, GitHub action, you can see uh, the OIDC token have a lot of attributes. So uh, which attribute should be picked to uh, be a SAN for, for, the, for the certificate is really a difficult. Uh, answer, and turn out uh, we chose the using the job workflow reference uh, to be the GitHub uh, GitHub action uh, SAN for the Fusio certificate. And if you look at the uh, GitHub action uh, official documentation, the job workflow reference, if we are using a, a reusable workflow, um, the reference path would be the reusable workflow. Um, so I was thinking. Um, because GitHub Action reusable workflow is um, uh, basically, if you can look at the reusable workflow definition, you, you can call it. So I was just wondering um, if there is any publicly available reusable workflow that using cosign, I can just call it, and then I can, I can use the uh, uh, identity of that reusable workflow to sign my artifact. So I'm just curious, so I, I did the research. And surprisingly, uh, there are some victims, uh, which is Argo CD, and I think they are in another building right now, so I think it's uh, okay to talk about it here. Um, so, um, what I look at uh, Argo CD is that uh, they have a GitHub uh, workflow uh, to, to uh, sign, basically sign their container image. And we can see that this is a reusable workflow. Um, and in the workflow, uh, they call uh, the cosign uh, sign to uh, I mean to sign their uh, release image using uh, six door. And if you look at the documentation of uh, Argo CD, they have the uh, guide for the, the security guide for the operator, uh, which is to verify the container image before using it. But unfortunately, uh, their example uh, command is just using the certificate identity, uh, which points to the reusable workflow that means they are recommending us to uh, check their uh, release container image uh, by the reusable workflow path. Then, what I did is um, I cloned their uh, repository and then just um, create a very simple, very simple uh, GitHub action just to call their uh, reusable workflow with my hello world Docker image. And then uh, surprisingly, uh, actually it's not surprised because I, I, I already know what would happen, uh, is that um, I, I can sign my image. You can see the uh, GitHub workflow repository is actually uh, my cloned uh, repository. But uh, if you look at the uh, Fusio certificate, uh, uh, the SAN is actually their uh, repository uh, reusable workflow. And then uh, importantly is uh, if I run their recommended uh, command line to do the verification. I, I can pass the check. So actually, I, 
if I send this, uh, my Hello World Docker image to other people and ask them to follow Argo CD documentation to check the image, it can pass. So what this story tells us is about, um, uh, if we want to check the cosine uh, signature, we, we, we don't just want to check the uh, subject alternative name, but we have more extension, which is the OID, we can check. So in this case, we would want to check uh, this particularly, um, the source repository URI in this case. We want to check if the source code uh, of the image is really from Argo project, but not from my repository. Uh, so if we are using cosine, then we should add this flag into our verification uh, process. But uh, yeah, uh, I think today we have talk about many different clients. So uh, for the sake of this talk, I have done some research on uh, some extension verification support for our, our different six store client. So we can see that uh, there are many client today still not support uh, on extension verification. So what they really, uh, what they normally do is just to, uh, you, you can add the flag to say, I, I want to, verify if this image is signed by uh, this issuer and uh, this subject. That's it, there's no other extension verification support. And, um, and for cosine and uh, six store Python CLI, uh, they can do it, but only for GitHub. Uh, if we're using GitLab or other CI to sign their, uh, the artifact and we use cosine, we, we cannot, also we cannot check uh, that OID extension. And for six door go here, uh, I'm very surprised that when, when I do the uh, research, uh, I see there's an undocumented function called new certificate identity. And this function is ev not even included in the test case, but uh, I believe using this function, uh, we, we can um, check the uh, container uh, uh, the, the certificate using the OID schema. Um, and also for six door Java, uh, it's very surprising that I, I found it, it support the OID scheme uh, verification, but with some trick. Uh, I think in the previous uh, talk, Samuel mentioned uh, his struggle on uh, using uh, hand, handling OID when he implemented the Ru uh, Ruby client. And six door Java, interestingly, push this responsibility to the users. So the users need to know the OID uh, extension and also the data format. Is it an a, uh, ASN one string or a raw string in order to verify um, the Fusio certificate, uh, which is very impressive. Yeah. Um, and talking about um, OID, there is no one size fit all solution. Um, so I, I, I take this example is, uh, you can see here, uh, there are, this two row has a two Fusio certificate uh, extension. One is a, a build signer URI and one is the uh, build config URI. Uh, in GitHub case, they use uh, two different OIDC uh, attribute, but for GitLab, they are using the exact same one. So why is it um, ha have this different is that uh, we, we need to look at how GitHub Action and GitLab uh, CI uh, design works. So for GitHub, if we have a reusable workflow here, uh, the caller workflow and the reusable workflow is actually running on two different containers. And the caller workflow can only influence the reusable workflow by the predefined per, uh, parameter input. And they are using, uh, they, they are producing two different OIDC token. So if we look at the build, build signer URI and build config URI, they are actually talking about these two separate token. But for GitLab, uh, the parent pipeline and child pipeline is actually just a child pipeline definition being copied to the parent pipeline. And the parent pipeline can actually override the entire child, child pipeline. So there's, make no sense to separate the child pipeline in, in its own token. So uh, if we're talking about GitLab uh, pipeline, um, this two uh, Fuso certificate extension is actually pointing to uh, 
the same token. So uh, we really want to know um, if, we, if we implement the CI pipeline and also in integrate with Sextor, we really need to understand how the CI pipeline design work uh, to understand how the OID extension uh, really mean. And so, um, yeah, um, there are many different cases for different CI platform. I know GitHub is a really uh, a dominant, uh, but there are other CI platform uh, out, out there as well. Um, so if you are the six store user or you are uh, some CI platform vendor, um, if you want to like uh, make, make use of a uh, six store, um, make the FUSIO certificate uh, more uh, meaningful or if you see something, see the FUSIO mapping is not right, then go to FUSIO uh, the FUSIO repository and look at the config. Uh, it's really simple. It's just a YAML file and the mapping between the OIDC token of the CI platform and map to which uh, Fusio OID. Um, if you see something is not right or if you want to uh, integrate more CI platform, just go to this uh, file and do a pull request or uh, raise an issue. Uh, it's really, I, I think it really helps uh, the Sextor uh, community to grow uh, to more CI platform. And with that said, I hope uh, you all uh, enjoy my talks. And this is my LinkedIn, Twitter, and email. Um, feel free to connect with me. And thank you. <laughs>